Good afternoon, and thank you for joining me in another swashbuckling episode of Groovy Van Picker. Well, it looks like I'm not going to be picking for a little while too much. Because they're starting to shut down a lot of this non-essential business. Um, casinos have already shut down. As of midnight last night, this morning, I took a little walk this afternoon, so I'll go ahead and show you what I saw this afternoon. Uh, stores are pretty much picked clean. I'm glad I uh, went to the store, and I'm glad I do have a little bit of a stash, hopefully to ride out this, uh, you know, this, this, this um, coronavirus. It is starting to become a nuisance. Um, what can I say? Of course, I've never met an illness that didn't become a nuisance, but this one here is becoming one. Okay. And so, I checked out a couple of the thrift stores just to see what I could see. Um, Goodwill was about Deadsville. I mean, the Google Trust were so dead, I actually got a shopping cart, but they didn't have anything there to put in it, so I didn't even bother showing the footage of that, I erased it. Boring. So what I am going to show you today is, um, Savers was closed. My favorite cigar shop was open today, so I got a little supply in to make sure I can ride out this little problem, I hope. Um, but you know what? This channel is about picking as well as van life and a lot of other stuff. I'm not going to be a one trick pony. I still do picking. Right now, I'm working a traditional job. I'm still going to be doing eBay. Um, and I still plan on doing swap meets if the weather ever gets better and we're permitted to. You know, they start lifting the ban on that kind of stuff. But just because they can't go out picking a whole bunch at the thrift stores right now because they're closed and they don't really appreciate you gallivanting around their stores when the doors are locked. I mean, they're kind of funny about that, you know. So... Like I said, today's topic is going to be about what I saw downtown Reno during the afternoon. Besides a little snowstorm, a uh, good thing I have my van because if I don't feel like driving home tonight, guess where I'm snoozing? That's right, back here. <laughs> yep. And I have a heater back there, I have a bed. Oh yeah, it's nice and comfy back there. <laughs> In fact, it's more comfortable than some hotels I've slept in before, you know? A lot less bed bugs, too. <laughs> um, anyway, so um, I will go ahead and um, take you on my adventures with me to just a little bit of downtown. I didn't do the whole thing. I just kind of walked down there to the strip, took some, uh, uh, you know, pictures of that. So go ahead and join me. Uh, it looks like Savers is looks like Savers is shut down. Well, so much for uh, picking there for a while. I am coming at you right now from uh, downtown Reno. I'll give you a little synopsis of what it looks like kind of nowadays. So here we go. Right over here used to be the Reno Greyhound Bus Depot. That used to be the Riviera, and this little, this is like the shop right over here. They used to park the buses over there, a little corner store. 
as you can see, the Greyhound Bus Depot no longer exists. It even used to have a little motel right over here. They leveled that a few years ago. That place over there called the Mod used to be like a major whorehouse, kind of. And the old El Cortez Hotel. And there's the Sands over that way. They are closed right now. A lot of stuff downtown, including casinos, are closed. These little motels here are now uh, weekly and monthly motels. They have been for a number of years since they can't really sell rooms by the night anymore for the tourists. It used to be the Riverboat Casino. They had good stakes. cancel this year. A lot of these places are just closing. Uh, North Second Street. They've been around for a while. This corner building has had many names over the years. This building was also at one point the money tree, which put the vapes in some financial hot water. Any fabulous 50s. Anything that goes on in this building is jinxed. Ace Mortar Lodge. Used to belong to Bob Cashel at one point. And uh is now one of those pay by the week places. We had a little rod over there, but they're closed. It used to be called Bob Cashel's Horseshoe Lodge and the Horseshoe Club across the alley. My mom worked there for a long time, and she actually met some of the people who played in that movie Sister Act. This place is boarded up as usual. This is a bad piece of real estate for some reason. I don't know. Um, this place here used to be a casino before my time. I can't remember what casino that was, but a long time ago. Then down this alley here um, is where you got the, uh, he's at the Horseshoe Club, the Nuggets over there, Series which is also owned by the same people as the Calamiba. Here we are. This is the Harrah's. Uh, this place is fixing to close its doors in the next few weeks. Right now it's closed for business by order of uh, the governor. There's some fancy schmancy tailor shop right here at one point. And over here, this little plaza used to be the uh, Harold's Club and Nevada Club, which now they do concerts and whatnot. This was Bob Cashel's Horseshoe Lodge, a horseshoe club at one point. Uh, then it was a pawn shop for many years. 
Now it's shuttered. And right here, open 24 hours, but like everybody else, they're closed. All the slot machines are pulled or shut down. And we got all this stuff right here. So yeah, it's shuttered. All the slot machines are turned off. And that is the situation right now in all the casinos in town. Even at the uh, little 7-Eleven uh, where these have slot machines. Well, they are this here series right next to the little nugget. Also owned by the same folks as the Calneva. And as you can tell, they pull the plug on all the slots. It used to be the Fitzgeralds. For the longest time, well, they still have it there. They had this Bl Blarney stone, which supposedly is off some castle in, in Ireland. I guess you kind of let you you're supposed to kiss it for luck. I got a feeling kissing some rock on the side of a corner wouldn't be very good luck right now. So I'm not kissing it. Sorry. Got this parking garage. Used to be train tracks going through here. But about 15 years ago, they dug a trench. See the tracks down in there? The train's going to this ditch. That's uh, Palace Jewelry and Loan. I used to work there about 27 years ago, a little motel right behind it, which is now part of the parking lot. And right over here, we have. The El Dorado and the Carano Brothers, which, as you can see, the El Dorado is closed. The machines are all bare with nobody there. Back in the little corner there, there used to be a motel I used to work at called uh, Plaza Motor Lodge. I guess Joni shut her place down and got it all fenced off. So, this used to be a little tourist dump at one point. And then right back over there used to be a couple of little casinos there called Old Reno and a couple of little hole in the wall places. Yeah, Reno shut down. I miss the Nevada. Here's the old arch. And I think they're turning the lights off of these things too. I can't. I'm not sure. But I miss the Herald Club Nevada Club. Down that way is the Amtrak station. They used to have a couple of little hole in the wall clubs down that way. Yeah. I guess these little stopping rocks are closing too. The little tourist traps are closing. place was a horseshoe club. They were actually trying to get me to work for them, but I was under 21 at the time. Architecture. Apparently this building from the Harris used to be a bank at one point. Way directly ahead, you'll see an old building called, um, that would be uh, the old horseshoe, or not the horseshoe, Riverside Hotel. Um, shut down back in 1986 and revised as a flop house about 15 years ago. And Calameva, that place is shut down right now. Yeah. I can't remember what to see what this place used to be. I think I've been here as a kid. This is another one that, I guess, changed hands on a weekly basis. 
like that sign. If you're a clo, just shove your money under the door. Thank you. <laughs> that was that alleyway. I was parked up here an awful, awful many years ago. Right up here where it says treasures. This here used to be a place called Parker's Western Wear. From way back in the old days up until recently, about 20 years ago. And then they closed down because they're trying to get rid of the rural image of Reno. And so it's an antique store now. I think they're closed too, I'm not sure. But uh, I remember on the last day, bought a pair of boots for like 80 bucks that were on sale. And I kept them for about 20 years. I really very carefully. You see where I used to say hotels. Um, yeah, it's an old place. I think it's from like the 1920s or even earlier. I can't remember. I was told before how all these buildings were. There is a silver legacy. That is uh, the sundowner. There's the sands. There's some uh, condo complex. The sands is also shut down. The liquor stores, I think, are still open. That didn't happen. Look at that. Look at the little tchotchkes. Look at the nifty. PBS Pharmacy here at one point. They had it almost ready to go. They never opened. Okay, well, that was my adventures du jour. As you can see, Reno is pretty much shut down. We're not quite as uh, locked down as places in the Bay Area, but they do have a uh, shelter-in-place suggestion. Uh, the governor has ordered all non-essential businesses closed. That means like barber shops, um, any place, bars, casinos. There goes the Nevada economy, man. Uh, you know, this has been a gambling state for a lot of years. Um, even the tinderbox, I saw by the tinderbox, which they're supposed to be closing up by the end of the month. Well, they said, yeah, they're totally closed tonight, so they're closing up their doors now. I got a few ounces of tobacco on sale. Um, but, uh, Looks like they're not going to be having no big blowouts on the last day like I was hoping to go down there and get a couple of pipes for 10 bucks or something, you know? <laughs> you know, I got Well, I did get something to put in my pipes. You know, I got me a couple ounces of tobacco. But Tinderbox has been around the uh, Reno area for since the 60s, I believe. They used to be out in Park Lane Mall for the longest time, but Park Lane Mall is now a vacant lot. have been for about a decade now and they moved down to uh, the corner of Kitsky of Virginia and the owner of the place he was just fixing to retire because the guy was like about a thousand years old but I guess uh, he now is just going to close up shop and I guess sell off his stock to I don't know Fumari <laughs> it was another uh, tobacco shop down the street. The company that I work for um, right now also, they're kind of short-handed. There's kind of a moratorium on, on days off and stuff like that or on, on vacation, which I'm guessing is for the best because I will plan to go down to California to see my kids and grandkids, but you know, if there's even the slightest chance that that coronavirus could be on me. I really don't want to be going down there. Hi, kids. Hi, mama. You're so cute, you know. And, and I'll give them anything in the world, but um, I don't want them to have anything that might hurt them. Like, you know, I don't know, a coronavirus? So um, it's probably for the best. So I'm going to put off my vacation for a little bit. And hopefully ride this thing out. But they are discouraging any non-essential travel. You know, I still have to go to work. Um, 
which is fine. I'll use the money. Of course, then I can't really spend it because all the stores are picked clean pretty much. I do have a good supply of food in both of my vehicles and my secret hideout. A um, couple more things I do want to get just to make sure I'm topped off on that, like maybe refill my propane tank. I was hoping not to really be using my heater that much anymore, but only you know this winter I only didn't even use a whole uh, a whole five gallon propane jug. Kind of a, a light winter. Of course, right now we do have uh, snow falling, but it's not sticking. It's just kind of just wet. Now the thing is, tonight after work, if the temperature drops, you know, below freezing, these roads are going to be a ribbon of ice, which is not nice. And so if that is the case, yeah, I just crawl on the back, you know, pull up the road piece, crawl on the back, take a snooze, get up and try to find a place to eat, you know, maybe get a hot dog at 7-Eleven or something. Um, awful, awful is going to be out of the question. So it looks like for the next couple weeks, while we're riding this thing out, I will I will, I'm, I will keep myself busy. You know I'm not going to be out picking, and there's not going to be very many yard sales and whatnot. I still got to probably clean my secret hideout. Um, my storage area is kind of uh, cluttered a little bit. So I got to do that, do some work on my vehicles, and... Do some yard work that I, sh you know, weather got cold, too cold to do yard work, really. Um, and I do want to get you guys a proper van tour of this van and maybe my other van. So, anyway, that is about what I have for today. Nothing heavy. Hope you enjoyed my show. If not, there's not a whole lot not to like. All right, late.